Hello guys, I'm Ahul here back again with another new video and today I'm gonna showcase a website or a web app that can literally replace Figma but this is free and open source that's the sweet point here right in Figma they provide a education plan as well but yeah uh, they provide just one single workspace with that education plan and obviously there you can create unlimited uh, number of projects but if you want to share that workspace with any other or any other huh, you have they also have to have education account so that's the catch here and secondly uh and figma is restricting their services a lot obviously they are here for business only so why will not they write so that's why uh switching from figma like switching from figma to any other uh, any other uh, like prototyping software would be a good uh, what good call right now like as soon as you switch or as soon as you get familiar with other softwares that would be helpful for you now just let's dive into the software and see what it provides and then we will talk about pros and cons okay so here is painpot yeah that kind of a name painpot.app so they are basically just like figma if you don't know what is figma then check out figma first okay i don't i'm not gonna explain what is figma right now uh, to in short figma is a prototyping tool uh, like not just prototyping tool all in one design tool and if you are using figma where are you please use figma so whatever uh so this is almost like uh figma and all let me show you the exact platform like i have an account here so what they are giving out here is they are providing you multiple workspaces and that is the multiple workspaces that that's also free because and that's the sweet thing about it like uh as this is a open so open source software so that's why they are providing all of it for free so here you can see i have three workspaces yeah and yeah obviously in under one workspace you have three sections one is projects drafts and shared library so in my projects uh, i can share like i can create more drafts or create new projects as well and in one project file i can create multiple files as well so that's also a great thing so let me show you the dash not not the dashboard but the workspace for once so let me open a open a design file let's open it what open 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 yeah <laughs> you have to double click on it <laughs> okay okay now it is opening and <sighs> it will take some okay now it's loaded actually this is the default file that everyone will get wherever they will sign in for this so basically everything is like figma and all and everything is sweet everything is similar not not very different this is also this panel is also different and you will get the basic guide here now let's talk about the cons pros are obviously there uh, you can obviously get like free this is totally free uh, as this is an open source project so it is totally free you don't have to pay for anything so this is obviously the sweet thing about it but the con is they don't have a community feature like figma like in figma in the community tab you can get plugins you can get files you can get a tons of things and that is so great right but here you don't have those functionalities so that's something you should keep in mind if uh, anyone from painbot watching this please add the community functionality this software like this piece of soft software or this piece of web web app will just what like crash the market crash the whole market if you add the uh, community feature and that's the only drawback i can find out about it and yeah there are some little drawbacks also like there are every every in every software there are some of the little so little yeah, drawback because 
you like it on one way or the other like who work in xd they like the layout of work xd they like the functionalities that xd provides in figma whoever use figma they like the figma design and all figma's functionality and all uh, so it is also have its benefits and its disadvantages as well so you sh you have to keep that in mind and play along but for basic prototyping basic wireframing or working with clients that's the most important thing that uh, in the free version of figma we don't get that is working with clients sharing them like sharing them live uh, project file and sharing multiple clients like sharing with multiple persons or uh, adding multiple person working with multiple person that is not possible in figma or uh, figma like software because they don't they don't let you in many of the collaborators so that is something that this software can be used for so that's about it about this website if you like if you like this video like if you like my contents in general please subscribe to my channel that helps a lot and if you know about some of the cool web apps cool website or cool resources please let me know about them in the comment section below too also like so i can share them in my future videos and there may be something cool again so yeah that's it so bye mm -hmm.